Um, if we move on to question six, I mean, question six and seven were raised by British Waterways um, as part of our core strategy consultation. And, <clears throat> excuse me, when we received that, we um, advised that this wasn't really something that was too detailed for the core strategy and we would deal with it in the city management plan. So we've raised it in the um, briefing note as, as some ideas that have been put forward by British Waterways for further discussion um, through the wider community. So is there a role for making better use of the canal web network for transportation, both on the river and through the use of towpaths for cycling and walking? For example, uh, water bus stops by the western portal of Maida, Maida Hill Tunnel and London Zoo in Regent's Park, seeking improvements to towpaths to facilitate walking and cycling, such as specific things like wayfinding or signage, um, and interpretation boards, lighting, CCTV. But I think we also have to ask... Um, do we support an increase in the use of, of the canal network for transportation, probably in the first instance? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any no's? Yes, with caveats. Oh. <coughs> what, what were they? Well, they're really linked um, around uh, talking for Paddington Waterways um, and representing the views of the residents who live very close to the canal, particularly by the pool. Um, there are some caveats about uh, where you would propose putting these stops. Um, I mean, you, I presume you mean the western side of the Maida Vale Tunnel. That means coming straight up into Maida Avenue and Blomfield Road, which already carries a lot of traffic. There's a bicycle route coming off the canal network because it comes up there. It's fairly chaotic, and I, 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 I just I think that we would be sort of uh, collecting opinions which sort of said, this isn't safe, and I suspect the safer neighbourhood team would say plenty of it because it's near to a difficult junction with Edgware Road up there. So uh, that one in particular. The cycling on the um, path, I know that you're doing quite a lot to try and help control it. We have people who actually pedal along quite happily with their things in their ears, have no idea what they're doing, and you have sort of people passing prams on a four-foot wide, five-foot wide path. We're quite worried about it in certain parts. But I know that you're working hard on it, and the police are involved, and so is the city council. Um, but I think it, it can't be indiscriminate. It's got to be very carefully thought through because yeah. there certainly are danger points. We're just undertaking a CRISP study, a cycle route implementation and stakeholder plan, which is uh, <laughs> sort of identifies the uh, problems along there and, and parallel routes as well for cyclists, particularly and around Little Venice. We're trying to discourage cyclists really from using the tape off because there's too much conflict with vulnerable other users. I'm glad to hear you say that because the ding ding campaign sort of and the um, ting ting tootings ting, campaign yes, tootings campaign uh, we've that, been down working problem? out and we're horrified by the attitude of some of the cyclists which yeah. is sort of to say get out of our way we're not stopping mm. for anything yeah, it's been quite nasty it's not just on canals is it it's like in your part <laughs> too uh, it's not it seems it's it's sort of got past the tipping point really right so any other views on yeah. I mean, yes, I think we do need to develop a consistent policy for the length of the canal um, that, that's in Westminster. Um, they are important cycle routes, and so in the Church Street bit, the Lisson Row bit, we're actually putting a special traffic light to help the cyclists cross Lisson Row. Mm -hmm. And Councillor Doyle has been very involved in getting a safe cycle route. It, it's a shared, along the canal, it's a, it's a shared route with a lot of pedestrians, particularly on Friday, because it's a route for the mosque and so on, and it's a route for parents taking their children to the, to the school's gateway and Barrow Hill in the, in the opposite direction. Um, I, I, I know, I mean, it's being worked on at the moment by Martin Lowe, and it, it, there's, it's really quite difficult banging together heads of um, network rail, London Underground, British Waterways and whatever. But there's no doubt in my mind that having the thing well used will make it safer. Um, yes. Not necessarily safer in the sense that, yes, of course, you know, cyclists um, do need to, you know, be careful, but then parents with children also need to know that they're cyclists and they've got to be careful. But, it, I mean, it, generally having the, that space, place used will be safer. And on the opposite side, the north bank of the canal where there are lots of houseboats and that's wonderful again it is so much 
safer now that there are people living there and they've made, made little gardens for themselves, um, you know, the sort of nooks and crannies. So, I, I mean, I think we, we absolutely work on that. We would actually want um, sort of more done to make it, um, you know, to clear away the undergrowth, um, to get more windows and some sort of new developments overlooking the canal, and anything that makes it better used and better looked over. Would clearing the undergrowth um, be a biodiversity issue? Uh, <laughs> probably, <laughs> but there is a safety issue, yes, as you raised, of uh, people lurking in the shrubbery and that sort of stuff, really. So, I mean, I mean it doesn't need to be totally cut back, but there are um, parts of, for, um, along, um, sort of along the zoo and so on, where you've got grassy banks and then, you know, um, so that's fine, but where you've got deep undergrowth underneath a bridge and that sort of thing, that's not there right. There are other ways of um, increasing the biodiversity on canals as well. You can have marginal vegetation at um, you know, appropriate places in the actual canal rather than scrubby growth that people can jump out of. So, I mean, we don't have ducks. Well. I don't know why, but I mean, it would be nice to have ducks. I think the canals so the water's low down and the ducks can't get out. In fact, people who fall in the canal can't get out. <laughs> it happens. Getting very technical. You know a great deal about your canal, Barbara. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I would just uh, add two points. I think that the use of the sharing of a path by cyclists and, and pedestrians, um, there should be some kind of status which says that pedestrians have the right of way and that cyclists have to give way to pedestrians. Um, in England, I think we're dreadful. Our cyclists are worse probably than anywhere in the world. Um, and it, on a restricted area location like the uh, Thames, uh, sorry, like the, like the uh, paths along the canals, that might actually be possible to to bring about, even if it's not legally possible. A notice saying, "Give way to pedestrians." Mm, that's a good idea. Yeah. Couldn't you just put a sign saying, "Cyclists dismount"? Oh, no, oh. no, the, the idea is to have cycle paths. You know, that are safer for cyclists than being on the roads. So the question is whether it's safer for pedestrians to have. We do um, have the two teens campaign with posters up and we try and publish this for giving priority to pedestrians and things and being considerate. That I think it's got to be from education because I don't I don't know a lot about it, but I've been to Tokyo where people cycle on the paths and it's pedestrian priority. And people really do give way to pedestrians. Um, yeah, they yes, don't but drive the Japanese in. will stand by a red Pardon? pedestrian light. <laughs> they will stand with a red do, pedestrian but, uh, light everybody with no cycles. traffic in any... It's not just like <laughs> cyclists in micro yes. sporty bikes. There's everybody cycling, you know, old and young people, everybody. And the more people that cycle then, the more that the, that kind of attitude will take over than just the people who dare brave it out on a bike at the moment. Um, I, I, I had think a there are different experiences. As, I as had well. a second point. <coughs> oh, sorry. sorry. Um, and this is for the people who know about the actual use of the water. I would be. My question would be: Is there any risk of increasing pollution with the increasing uh, movement or use of the canal for various boats? Mm. 